I never realized what you could do with a biology degree, including studying herpetology. I am a physiological ecologist by training, and I work on uh, amphibians and reptiles as my model organisms. I can't tell you the numerous times at, you know, cocktail parties and so on, someone will say, why do you work on snakes? And, uh, and, and usually you go through the typical things that they may want to hear about venoms and how they can be used in medicine and so on. Okay, if you go camping, there's a good chance that you're going to see a coral snake or a rattlesnake. There's a really good chance you're going to see a copperhead or, or a cottonmouth. We do have copperheads and cottonmouths, and they are pretty common in East Texas woods. I think you need to just make sure you're watching where you place your feet. Let me put them over here on the bank. People are, are kind of scared of, I think, the movement. If they do feel threatened, of course, then they will coil up. Um, they will rattle their tail. A lot of people think only rattlesnakes rattle their tail. Most snakes rattle their tail when they feel threatened. Once it feels threatened, that's where you really need to be careful because then there's the possibility of striking. In terms of people stepping on a snake, usually the source of the bite is right where they, they, they've stepped on the snake. So they're gonna bite your shoe, they're gonna bite your boot. And then see, so this is what I'm talking about in terms of when you're walking over a log. Sure. So, um, you know, one of the things you want to do is you just don't want to step down over, uh, over the log without actually looking because there could be something coiled on the other side. Um, a lot of people have the sentiment that only a good snake is a dead snake. And unfortunately, there are so many snakes out there that are harmless to, to people. It's one of nature's creatures and everything has a role and has a place. And I think our now responsibilities the as okay. stewards of the land is basically to respect that beauty in nature and probably not kill um, any snake you come across. I, I've heard that um, more times. Typically, um, now, don't get me wrong, cottonmouths especially, they, they are um, more aggressive than most snakes. But, um, them chasing you is is probably uh, not the case. What usually happens is they get startled, they go into the water to retreat, and they're probably looking to get to the bank or the other side of that creek, and you happen to be in the way. As Because um, I promise you, if you just move to the side, um, they're probably gonna swim right by you and go to um, some particular clump of grass or whatever on that bank that they're focused on in terms of their retreat site. But if you, if you start um, running down the creek, these things are not going to chase after you. <laughs>